Last year, the Queen of Versailles, Jackie Siegel, opened up to us about losing her teenage daughter, Victoria, to a drug overdose. Our investigative producer, Leslie Marcus, caught up with Jackie and her husband in Las Vegas at their event to help people struggling with addiction and save lives. Today I'm in Las Vegas at Jackie and David's hotel where they're throwing a benefit in honor of their daughter they lost to a prescription drug overdose. It's called Victoria's Voice and thousands of people are going to be here to share their story of addiction and recovery. Tell me what it means to you to see all these people coming together for your cause. We have over a thousand people coming this evening and it's just amazing how many lives that we've touched. Talk about the common thread that's pulling everybody together here. Save lives from the horrible drug epidemic that's killing 200 young people every day. What is your message to other parents out there that might be struggling with this or maybe they don't know at all that their kid is having addiction issues? If it can happen to us, it can happen to any parent. And it happened right under our noses, so hopefully that they get to know their child better because they could be doing the same thing behind their closed doors. I'm here in Las Vegas on the purple carpet at the Victoria Voice Gala. And people have gathered here from far and wide, all coming together for a great cause to fight the opioid crisis. Tell me, I know this is a cause that's close to your hearts. Can you tell me a little about that? Yes, uh, I got sober in November of 2006. I'm a crisis uh, drug and alcohol interventionist. I, along with my acting career, to give back and to be of service to my own sobriety, I help place people into recovery. I'm here with X's and O's. They just opened for Cardi B. You guys are killing it. Yes. So tell our viewers a little bit about how you became so successful at a young age and really, you know, didn't get involved with the wrong crowd. Honestly, I really just feel like me personally, and maybe speaking for the girls as well, we're really motivated and we like, yeah. we, we love what we do. So being involved with other people who are also, uh, has the same goals and the same aspirations as us has helped us. Yeah, you always need to be like center in one goal, look what you're really passionate about so you can have like a, something to look forward to and keep yourself motivated. Let's talk a little bit about what it means for you to be here tonight. As a mortician, of course, this epidemic affects people under 50 more than any other sector. It passes socioeconomic status, race, gender, and we see a lot of people coming into our funeral home that have been victim to this. Leslie sat down with several celebrities at the event who shared their own struggles with addiction. You struggled with addiction. Tell me about that. For about 19 years, I was a very, very serious, everyday blackout alcoholic. And I've been in recovery. I have almost four years sober. Your own son OD'd. Tell he me did. about that. When I was five months sober, and he was about 20 years old at the time, his girlfriend's mom called us and said he's on life support. The doctors were preparing the DNR and the organ donor papers for us to sign. He was not supposed to make it. How old is he now? He's 25, um, he's doing wonderful. It was a scary, scary moment. I know this is very close to your heart. I had an epiphany on February 19th of 2005 where I was in a car accident. By the grace of God, they were able to save me. I made a commitment to God that I was gonna help people with addiction problems ever since. One thing I learned with Lindsay is the more I told her to do, the less she did. You have to talk to them about what, what the problem is that's leading them to do what they're doing, and maybe they'll open up to you. How is Lindsay doing? Amazing. She's back on her game again. She's great. I got introduced to uh, opiates because of a car accident. Addiction came to cover this underlying depression and anxiety. Fortunately for me, I've gone on over five years sober and have found out how to treat the depression and anxiety in, in healthy ways. What ultimately helped you get on the other side and overcome this. I was one who needed tough love. So when my wife Jacqueline scared me to death by filing for divorce, I instantly said, honey, I need help. I'm here today a happy husband and father and ready to be a voice and an advocate for those that are suffering from not only addiction, but mental health issues. 